guys, this is Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's PCT studio tip. We are talking about how to bake flat polymer clay in a tile sandwich. <laughs> now, I've been doing this for a long time, but I got a request or a question from um, another YouTuber, and her name is, or I'm assuming it's a her, the name is Sweet Bio Design, and they asked about baking flat polymer clay so that it doesn't bend up when you're baking it. And I've also had this issue years ago when I used to bake on a flat tile where you would get um, little bubbles in the, in the piece and uh, the back was all kind of mottled and didn't look very good. So I figured out, I'm not sure if it was totally on my own or if I remember reading it, I don't know, but it was years and years ago, I started doing what is called a tile sandwich. And here is a tile sandwich. Now you need to put, you need to have two tiles and each side needs to be smooth. So you can't have it embossed with some sort of pattern or anything like that. But what you do is you take your, you take your flat piece of polymer clay. Oh, this one's stuck to the paper now. So you have your tile at the bottom. You have a piece of paper, put your piece of, um, polymer clay on there, put a piece of uh, another piece of paper on top, make sure there's no printing or anything on it, and then the flat tile upside down on top. Then when you bake it, um, now I always bake it, my, um, this is Primo clay I'm working with, so if I'm baking it, I'm going to bake it at 275 Fahrenheit, and then I'm going to bake it for one hour. But while it's inside there, with the pressure on top, and be, being between the two sheets of paper, you're going to get a super, super smooth piece. So see this one here? It's perfectly flat, perfectly smooth, and it's smooth on both sides. And this one was cut out at the same time right beside it, and it's got bubbles in it, and it's got a funky back. So that is how I bake my flat pieces in a tile sandwich. All right, so I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, do make sure to leave a comment and let us know. And don't forget, if you have any suggestions like Sweet Bio Design had, where you have something that's a challenge, make sure to check out our previous videos. We may have already done a video on it, but if not, you can leave your suggestion in the comment section below and hopefully we can get to filming that problem for you. All right, so we'll see you next time and bye for now.